All righty then. Pro Stock Motorcycle. This is session three. Watch Matt Smith. He's in the right lane, and he doesn't know it at this point, but he doesn't have any brakes. About now, he's figuring that out. He begins to try and slow the bike down. It was going over the line at 190 miles an hour. He drags his foot so much, it's burning rubber off of his foot. He's trying desperately to keep out of that sand trap. No, he can't. Now, the good news is that Matt Smith was okay. Got up, walked away from that one, and then he talked with Gary Gerald. First thing he asks as he got over here, what did go? Well, you're in the show with a 98. The important thing is, how do you feel? Can you tell us what happened? Uh, I went through the lights and I had no brakes. I had no front brakes, and uh, I kept the clutch out. And I don't know, I don't understand. Uh, had brakes in the burnout, everything was fine, but no brakes whatsoever. And I put my feet down, and you can see I rubbed the hole in the bottom of my feet. It's Check this out. Warm. Show us that again here. Wow. It was starting to get warm, and, uh, you know, just I ran out of real estate. You know, I was, I was debating whether to make the turn, but I didn't want to hit none of this stuff, so I went to sand. How many times in your career have you had to lay one down in the gravel? That's uh, probably the second. The other one was at Reading when I didn't have no brakes, but I went in a lot harder that time. It, it, it hurt pretty good. Well, we're glad you're all right. Hope all we'll right. see you in that next final session. Thanks. Now, his wife, Angie Smith, was watching all of that from the starting line because she was next up alongside of Andrew Hines. She got a run done. Hines went up to fifth. Angie stayed at ninth. And afterwards, Gary Gerald asked her what that was like. Angie, what, what's it like when you're up there waiting to do your burnout to come down the track and you see your husband and a problem at the far end. I didn't really know what happened. Um, all I saw was dust at the end of the track and really didn't think it was him. And uh, they told us to cut our bikes off and then they said, it's Matt, it's Matt. And uh, that's probably the toughest run I've ever made. Um, seeing my husband lay on the ground and then they were checking him to make sure he was all right. And I knew I had to put it all behind me and go out there and do my job and go from A to B. And, I did, and I mean, we didn't go fast, but you know what? The most important thing is, you know, he's okay, and I want to thank all my sponsors for being here and being behind me, Kaufman Tank Trucks, and everybody that supports me. Thank you. Thank you.